Welcome to the Invincible CEO YouTube channel. My name is Didi Pavernik and I am the Invincible CEO. And we are here to help you manifest with ease because manifestation is simple, easy, and fun. And this is our community chosen series called Deep Dive Into the Now Moment where we take you out of the concept, right? You come here and you watch video after video, and we're going to put you into the experience of being deeper in the now moment. What does that actually mean? So this is our second episode. So episode one, we focused on deep breathing and how that brings you into the now. Now, today, I really want to see you win. I want to see you win big, and I want to see you win all the time. And this video is just for you because today we're still going to use the breath, but we're going to focus on the power and the choice because manifestation is so simple that I'm going to redefine it for you right here, right now. We've said it many times on the channel. All manifestation is, is consciously right here, right now, making a new choice and no waiver, no wobble, no doubt, no fear. It's your choice, you made it, and now you expect your mind to deliver. There's no subconscious mind to impress. There's no hoops to jump through. I'm going to bring you into another experience using your breath. And the breath is so very powerful. As we mentioned in episode one, it's what you do naturally all day long. It is your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is already impressed to breathe. And what makes you consciously so powerful is as we saw in episode one, you can change your breathing pattern. You can choose to breathe deeper and you can choose for how long you want to breathe deeper. Now, what I love about reality and all the different types of programs out there, it gives you an opportunity in the now moment to discover the power that you have right here, right now. So different types of activities you could use where your breath is going to change, singing, running, yoga, weightlifting, playing different musical instruments that require breath. And when you go into those disciplines, you realize very quickly that there's breathing with the movement and there's breathing against the movement, especially as a personal trainer. One of the biggest things I always joked and said, if I had a nickel for every time I would say to someone, breathe, have this reaction within us that when things get tough, when things get hard, we tend to hold our breath. And today's focus is going to be on holding the breath. And what I love about this exercise, this experience, not only do we focus on the breath because it really internalizes us, it makes us feel the inside. When we talk about everyone is you pushed out, one of the best techniques we can utilize is any kind of breath work because we're literally taking in the outside world, processing it within us, and then breathing it back out, as we said yesterday, blowing up your reality with what it is, your intention, and your every time now that you breathe out, you are breathing life and you're pushing out into this reality. So really sitting here in this now moment, understanding that you are the operant power, what's so powerful about this exercise we're going to do it's going to take you out of the concepts. You've heard the concepts. You're the operant power. The choice is always yours. Free will ends at the choice that you make. And what we really are going to do is center you back into your body with the holding of the breath because you're going to realize that you're the one in charge. Consciously, when you make a decision to hold your breath, the subconscious cannot fight you. Now, when you start to push at the limitations of the reality you, you're in, you'll get a little pushback. And this is going to be a really great analogy of how other things are doing the same thing, whether you're feeling fear within you or you're having someone come and give you a little opposition in, in your physical 3D reality. But everything is you pushed out and you get to decide the rhythm, right? As we saw in episode one, when we were taking those deep breaths, we decided how long we, we were breathing in. We decided how long we were going to hold it. And we decided how much we're going to push it out. Now, today, we're going to take that deep breath in. And we're going to do this in, in many little steps of holding the breath. Because once again, when we do it the first time, we're going to be aware that we did it. And then we're going to do it a second time and we're going to go a little longer. But each time that we hold the breath, 
I want you to feel that breath coming in through the nose like we did yesterday. I want you to feel the expansion in your chest that we did yesterday in episode one. And then I want you to really sit in the enjoyment of the power of you holding your breath. Because when you sit in this power, knowing that you're the one choosing to breathe in deep, you're the one choosing to hold the breath, you will be the one choosing when to let the breath out. Now, what really gets interesting as when we go into this exercise over and over again, and we hold the breath a little bit longer each time, in the beginning, it seems to be easy. It seems to be interesting. But when we get into those longer holds, what I do want you to be aware of and to realize is what starts to come in. Is there a point where you start to feel a little fear or a little panic? But when you think about that, it's kind of mind blowing because you're the one choosing to hold your breath. You're the one choosing how long you hold it and you're the one choosing when to let it out. Do not let the subconscious bully you or the conscious mind echo chamber come in with thoughts of saying, you're hurting yourself or you're going to pass out or this isn't healthy, right? Pay attention to what comes in because what should be coming in, and we're going to be doing this right from the very beginning, is not letting any thought, right? Because if, if you are going to have thoughts come in, let them come in and say, wow, you're powerful. You're the operant power. You've chosen. We're going to deliver to you what you've chosen. But what I would really suggest that you do regardless is stay in no thought. Let the thought chamber, the echo chamber be empty and just stay in the feel of what it is because you don't have to think to hold your breath. You know how to naturally do that. So when we do this here, again, it's going to be very simple technique that we're going to use. The mind, the thinking mind, the talking mind is not needed. But if it does activate, pay attention to what it offers you and if it does offer you something, is it a fearful offering or is it a positive, um, is it a fearful offering or is it cheering you on? Is it giving you a high five? Okay. All right. So as always, get in a comfortable position. This is something that's best done sitting down or laying down. You can do it while you're walking, but you have other um, programs activated. So we kind of want to really get neutralized to a zero point. So somewhere where you can sit, it, it doesn't have to be upright. It doesn't have to be in any kind of proper position. If you want to be le leaning back against something, that's fine too. If you want to be totally laying down on the floor, on the bed, that's fine too. Just as long as you can stay focused of what we're doing here. Okay, so let's start first by practicing our three deep breaths. Don't worry about the time count. You're just going to breathe in deep. You're going to hold it. And then you're going to choose to release it. So once again, you're the operant power. You're choosing to breathe differently than you would normally be breathing. You're going to breathe in. You're going to choose to hold it. And I want you to acknowledge, you know, just not with words, but I want you to acknowledge each step of the way that when you're breathing in, when you're holding and when you're releasing. Ready? All right. So we're going to do three in a row and I'm going to put my finger up for each one. And again, I'm a, I'm a very well-practiced deep breather. My deep breaths might be a little bit longer than yours as we're doing it on the screen. Do what feels natural. Don't feel that you have to keep up with what I'm doing on the screen. As long as your three deep breaths are very different than what you would naturally be breathing. And that's something that you can uh, expand very, very quickly because it's not something you have to practice over time. Just right now, decide that you are a deep breather and allow the unfolding of it to happen naturally for you. Okay, you ready? Here we go. First deep breath. wonderful. And you should already feel a little bit more relaxed than we did. We are going to hold our breath for 10 seconds. And there's no need for you to count. I have a timer here and I have it turned up so that when it goes off, 
you can you can release your breath. This is going to be for 10 seconds. We're gonna breathe in and the 10 seconds starts the moment the breath is held. And then after the 10 seconds counts down, you'll hear the little timer go off on the screen. And when you do go to release, don't be like blowing it out. Be in total control like this is no big deal. And you're gonna let out your deep breath just like the three deep breaths that we just did. Nice and relaxed and natural. Okay, here we go. And let's start with the breath in. Let's take a few moments and reflect real quick. And if you have a notebook, you can take some notes down. What did you feel? Did you feel the air coming through your nose? So did you feel the air coming through your nose? Did you feel the chest expand? And when I held my breath, I could feel the closing off, the closing off mechanism, knowing that I was not going to breathe out. And I also felt it down in my solar plexus. I felt the hold and I felt the air getting pushed down into the solar plexus right below, right around the rib cage, the bottom of the rib cage. So what did you feel? And, and you don't have to feel exactly what I felt. Whatever you felt, we're bringing you deeper into the body. And also note that, you know, did your mind have any objection to what we're doing, right? Did you have a thought come in? Was it wondering when the timer was going to go off? What Did a thought come in and say, this is easy, right? Again, we don't need thoughts because what's just happening in the now moment, and, and, and you hear me say this often, what's happening in the now moment is just happening. It doesn't need a narrative. So what was happening was you took a breath in, you decided to hold for 10 seconds. When the alarm went off, you, you were breathing out. That's it. There's no other need of thought. And this is how you can begin to become aware of how much extra thought is happening within your consciousness when you're actually doing something where you're safe in your imagination. No thought is needed because you know exactly what it is that you need to do. Okay, let's do this again. And then we're gonna do it now. We're going to hold for 20 seconds. Now, as we do this, if you can't get to the whole 20 seconds, there's nothing wrong. Again, I want you to be in awareness. You're the observer, right? Observe what's going on in your physical body as we hold the breath. And then observe if there's any echo offerings in the mind, because again, you don't have to think to do this. This is an automatic thing. And we're seeing how the conscious mind and the subconscious mind work together. You as the operant power are making the choice to take a deep breath, hold it for 20 seconds. And then when you do release it, you're going to release it out like we were just taking a, a natural deep breath. But while you're holding, the awareness is going to be aware of what's going on within your physical body, right? Because if you want to learn how to feel it real, if you want to learn how to feel the sensations in your body, how your subconscious is speaking to you, and as you're having these sensations now at this 20 seconds hold, I want you, if a mind comes in, we're not going to do it during the hold, but I want you to know that you're safe. Now, at any time, if you feel like you might be dizzy or about to pass out, please let the breath out. But I want you to see if the mind starts to get a little bit more serious and the gatekeepers want to come in and offer you suggestions, again, that you don't even need because you're the operant power. And if you want to, you could let the breath out prior to 20 seconds. All right, let's get comfortable. The clock will start once the breath is held. Okay, get ready and take that deep breath in. What did you feel? Put it in the comment section below. I'll tell you right now what I felt. 
Once again, I felt the breath come in. I felt, I call it the locking mechanism when it almost feels like something like shifts within you that you know the breath is being held. And then again, once again, my focus was in my solar plexus right at the rib cage. And I could feel a little bit more pressure building right there. Now, some people feel their heartbeat. And the more you hold your breath, you feel the heartbeat becoming more pronounced. Whatever it is, there's no right or wrong. It could be a combination of both. You might be feeling your heartbeat and you might be feeling something in your solar plexus, or maybe you're feeling it in your throat or even in your head. There's no wrong answers here. You can put them in the comment section of what it is you're experiencing. But the other thing, did you experience the calmness? You're the operant power. At any time, you could let the breath go, but you're choosing not to. This is how you become so present in the now moment with choice. And this is why breathing and breath work are such a powerful tenet in all of my courses, whether I'm personal training you, whether we're doing nutrition, whether we're doing mindset work, that when you do a lot of deep breathing, it's very hard to have a negative mindset with a lot of oxygen coming into, natural oxygen coming into your body, right? And it's very hard to have any physical aches or pains or disease or illness when you have a lot of water coming in. Now, are these assumptions that I make? Yes, but I'm going to use my world and I'm going to use my environment to add on to me. To add on, these are very simple things that you can do, drink water and deep breathe. And it's really not that big of an extra cost to you. So when we talk about self-care and self-concept and people always say to me, I don't know where to start, deep breathing and hydration are really powerful. So now using this to aid you, now we're gonna go into 30 seconds, 30 seconds. And again, to the subconscious mind, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, it's just a different offering. It's a, just, just a different program because when we choose 30 seconds, we are now choosing the 30 second program. And we are gonna choose ahead of time that we are gonna do this with ease. This is gonna be easy peasy. You can do this all the time. You're choosing the version of you right here, right now that has done it for 30 seconds. Are you ready? Are you ready? Nice and relaxed. Get light, nice and loose. Remember, nothing cross, no, no crisscross applesauce. Let's get ready for our deep breath in. We're going to do a 30 second hold. You're going to sit in awareness, feel the feels within your body and see if there are any mind offerings. Allow them to be, allow them to float through. We're not going to entertain them if they do come in. All right, get ready. Take that deep breath in. And once I put my finger up, the 30 seconds will start. Ready? Here we go. Deep breath in. So what was your experience? Because another great reason to do exercises like this, it, it's all about the experience, not what you think it's going to be like, but what was the actual experience? Because when we're in the experience, we're in first person. And then when the experience is over, we can go back and reflect on the experience. And that's third person. And the version of you reflecting on the experience can't criticize what happened because you're no longer in the experience, right? So what did you feel? For me, I, once again, I felt the mechanism close off the breath. I felt a deeper expansion into the solar plexus. And I did start to feel my heart slightly beating. I know it's beating all the time, but I became aware of it slightly. And I know that as I go on and do this more and more, adding 10 seconds, adding 10 seconds. Now, if you feel like if you had to let your breath out ahead of time, that's not a big deal. You just understand where you are right here, right now. And now you choose again to go back in and say, you do the 30 seconds over again, that you tell yourself you're totally safe. You're safe in your imagination. This is a fun experience, not that you have to do all of this, but if you have let out your breath or you haven't been able to hold it for 20 or 30 seconds, 
you are where you are. It's just a point of awareness. And you can buy into a story and your mind can come in and say, this is unsafe, or you can't do this because of this is going on in your body, or you have this condition over here. That's, that's the gatekeeper coming in, trying to pull you back into an old story. And again, this shouldn't be forced. This should be nice and natural and smooth as we go along. So we're going to do one more. We're going to, because we want to keep these videos short, we're going to do one more at 40 seconds. After we do 40 seconds, if this is easy for you, then go to 50, then go to one minute. Continue on in 10 second increments to see where's your threshold. This is how you explore being the operant power. This is how you explore you have the choice in any given moment to decide. And you as the decider, it's not the same you if an echo comes in during the process. That's why when you command your reality and you say ahead of time, I'm going to hold my breath for 40 seconds and it's going to be simple, easy, and fun, and then you go do it, you are retraining your mind to see you as the operant power and your conscious awareness that you are the operant power, as opposed to anything that comes in while you're holding your breath is an echo, and it's not what you command it. It's an old reality. It's an old offering. And that's why when you're present in the now moment and you know what you've commanded, you know the experience that you've chosen, and now you commanded it, and you're taking the time to give yourself the experience to have it. Anything that comes into the mind is an echo, and it's not what you command it because your true echo, if I say I'm going to hold my breath for 40 seconds and it's simple, easy, and fun, then the kind of echo that I would expect to hear from my command is this is easy, this is simple, this is fun. I'm holding my breath for 40 seconds, not I got to let go now. I'm going to pass out. This is hard. Why are we doing this? That's an echo from an old reality. And that's why I love doing holding your breath, because not only it gives you the power right here, right now, you command the reality and then you deliver the reality to yourself. And then you become aware of echoes because all echoes are echoes can only echo what was said. So your true echo will be, I'm holding my breath for 40 seconds. This is easy. This is fun. That's your true echo because that's what you just commanded. And I can't say this enough, friends, how going deep into the now moment with this type of experience, be you begin to realize that when you're deciding to do something and a different thought comes in, that's not the echo of what you've just commanded because echoes have to echo exactly what it was. So that's a different version of you and that's his or her echo. So, so powerful. All right, so let's bring this home. Let's do this one more time for 40 seconds. And again, at any point during this, if you have to let the breath out, try not to be like, try, even if you have to let the breath out ahead of time, please let it be natural because then, then there's a sense of you're not in control and you are totally in control at all times. All right, get ready. Let's take that breath in. When I put my finger up, that means the clock has started. And also enjoy this. Enjoy the exploration. Enjoy the experience. So I'm commanding my reality. I'm going to hold my breath for 40 seconds and it's going to be so much fun. It's so easy. And wow, what an amazing experience. And if there are true echo echoes of me, that's what I expect to be echoed in my echo chamber. All right, folks, let's get ready to do this for 40 seconds. And one of the suggestions that I would say to you is take a much deeper breath than you have for the 10, 20, or 30. All right, so once my finger goes up, the timer starts. Take that deep breath, get your lock mechanism in. Awesome. 
How does it feel to be that powerful? And again, this when we're doing exercises, this is not something to beat yourself up about if you haven't gotten to a certain level. This is about seeing where you are, what's being offered to you during that time because nothing else matters, right? When you're that focused and you're that present and you brought your conscious mind in with a choice and the subconscious mind is engaged because you're holding your breath and it shows you you're the operant power, you get to decide, you know that if there are echoes, what the echo should sound like because you just commanded it into being and any other type of echo that comes in is from a different version of you that's not sitting here right now holding the breath. How amazingly powerful is this exercise? I get so excited when I teach this one. It's one of my favorites. You can continue on and on and on. And again, whatever experience that you decide to give yourself in the now moment must add on to you, not take away. But at the very least, it's going to bring you awareness through the present activity. So the presence here was the holding of the breath. We were actively holding our breath and the awareness is passive because you're always aware of what's happening now. I hope you're really enjoying the series. This is so much fun to bring to you. If you haven't liked the video, please do so. Subscribe to the channel. And hey, why not share these videos with your manifestation friends or even anyone that simply wants to become more aware and present in the now or bring greater health to themselves. I'm so excited about you being here. I'm so excited about you coming back. And if at any time you'd like to have a conversation to see if we would be a good fit to work together, there's also a link in the description box below. If you're enjoying this video today and you haven't seen the first session, you're going to see a playlist coming up that you can go and watch and come back again tomorrow at noon for the next episode.